right, here is the box with the Libertods in them. This is how they came. Rather large purchase to come in such a small beat up box. I think if I were shipping these, I would have put them in a bigger box and not allowed them to be thrown around. But uh, let's go ahead and get this open. I'll be right back. All right, and inside the box was uh, the tubes wrapped in the shipping plastic. Let's go ahead and get these out of here. Should be three tubes of 25. And uh, the only reason I buy so many is that I have to get over the, uh, the sales tax limit in my state. So I would probably buy fewer, but I just, I can't pay sales tax. There you go. There is the familiar Libertad tube. Remember the days when these used to be paper? Man, those were cool. Wasn't that long ago. Okay, so here are the three tubes. Uh, these tubes uh, came out to thirty-one sixty per coin. Um, much cheaper today. Unfortunately, uh, I'll have the uh, the the link or the picture to the website at Monument Metals. So we've got three. I see this tube has been opened already. It's been sliced and opened for some reason. Uh, this tube appears to be also has been sliced and opened. Come on, Monument. And this tube has been sliced and opened. So what are you guys up to over there? I hate it when I don't get a sealed tube. There's no reason for a retailer to uh, sort through the coins when you're buying them in sealed tubes. Um, and then they put this tape over them, obviously, to uh, mask the fact that they have been opened. Um, but let's go ahead and open one and see what these coins look like. The tricks of uh, of the bullion retailers, you know, they they grade these and they sell them for much more. And if they can sort through your coins and pick out the perfect ones, then uh, they make more money. Um, so uh, that that's a negative in my opinion. Maybe you'll want to pick them up somewhere else than Monument. I think they're the same price uh, at Bold or Bullion Exchanges. Yeah, that popped right off. And there they are. Okay, I'm hoping they're beautiful. Yeah, let's get these out of here and see what they look like. So far, so good. Beautiful looking coin, which is actually not a coin. It's actually a round, but uh, most people call them coins. All right, we're going to flip this guy over. And there we go. There are the libs, some marks there on the side. I'm not sure what those nicks are on the side, but let's take a look at the first coin in the tube. Beautiful 2023. Edges are great. The flags of Mexico. That's a pretty one. Let's see if they're all pretty. Another pretty one. Very nice. I want to catch this one down here that seems to have a nick on the rim. That would be that one. Okay, there is one. Very nice. Very nice. It seemed to have something on the edge. Oh, you know what? That might have been a piece of plastic. Yeah, from the plastic tube, perhaps. Here's another one. Looking for nicks on the edges. All right, I don't want to get too uh, too fanatic about it, but those are beautiful BU libs, 2023. And now let's take a look at uh, at what the market is doing for these Libertads. See if you want to buy some at around uh, a little over 30 bucks a coin right now. There's some more of that stuff on the rim. Yeah, that appears to be um, where the uh, the coin has scraped the plastic on the way in. Let me see if I can get you a close-up on that. Oh, yeah. I just got these the other day. I don't know that there have been too many unboxings so far, but I know 
people are crazy for Libertods. I have uh, sold uh, all of my Libertods, uh, realizing the profits from the old days uh, when you could buy these cheap. But at 3160 at the time, that was not a terrible price for a very popular coin. And they do appreciate in value over time, as we will take a look right now. Okay, guys, come on with me. All right, and here's where I purchased mine at Monument Metals. Uh, currently, they're about 30.22 a coin for a whole tube. And let's look at the mintages. Okay, I found this on Wikipedia. The old style coins were anywhere between 1 million and uh, 2 million. Well, actually, 500,000 and 2 million in the old days. Now, the design changed in 1998, as you can see in the new. Uh, uh, the new field here, uh, you're looking for the larger numbers. So in 1998, there were 67,000 uh, minted and as many as a million seven. As we go uh, up into 2005 to 2013, you can see they went as high as a million six fifty, as low as 200,000 in 2007. And moving into modern times, we are between 700,000, 400, 900, a million four in 2016, uh, 300,000 in 2020, and 550 in 2022. If you're interested in the proofs, uh, which are pretty low mintage, uh, you can uh, freeze this screen and take a look at the proofs and reverse proofs. I'm not buying those this year. And now we're going to get into resale prices on eBay. So here we have the 1998, the elusive 1998, $892. Uh, here's the 2020, had a mintage of 455000 selling for 46 2010 selling for 44 2011 selling for 46 um, 2014 a somewhat higher mintage 37 dollars 2015 40 dollars 2016 uh, 43 dollars even though it had a 1.4 million mintage that's surprising uh, 2018 with a 300,000 mintage, $49 re sale price. 2020, 30, uh, $51. Look at that mintage, 300,000. And 2021, uh, 3875 with a 450,000 mintage. Finally, in 2022, a little higher mintage of 550,000. And 2023, we don't know the mintages. Okay, it's selling for 40 bucks, which you don't need to uh, you don't need to pay. Uh, you can get them for 30 right at Monument Bold or maybe Bullion Exchanges. And the Libertads, uh, you know, they have a history of coming out at the end of the year, and they do not disclose to the market what the mintage will be for the year. Now, sometimes you can look at the number of coins available at the retailers to try to figure out if it'll be a high mintage or a low mintage year. Uh, I like to look at the different sizes, the, the two ounce, the five ounce especially, and see if those look like they're in short supply. But uh, everything looked like it was in fairly abundant supply as I checked. Um, I think they had about, oh, I think they had about 20,000 of these at Monument. Um, maybe it was 10,000, I can't quite recall. Uh, they're down to a, an inventory of about 2,000 coins at the moment at Monument, and that, uh, that may sell out pretty fast. Will they have another shipment? Um, uh, you know, uh, yeah, there are hundreds of thousands of these, but being split up all over the world and between the different retailers. So there could be a second release of more coins, and could they be cheaper? Well, if spot keeps dropping, and it really has dropped precipitously uh, this week, uh, they could get even cheaper. But at some point, the initial release will be done, and the retailers will start raising the prices. Uh, when the mintage is disclosed, if it's a low mintage year, uh, you know, 300,000, 350,000 or less, then the prices will shoot up pretty fast. If it's a high mintage year, 
450, 500, 600,000, uh, then the prices will, um, it'll take time for them to appreciate. But generally, the resale prices will be uh, in excess of the $30 purchase price. And as time goes on, uh, could be much more. Uh, even high mintage years appreciate over time because the Libertads uh, are collected. And uh, they're also beautiful coins at uh, one of the highest quality mints in the world. Uh, they rarely spot. I mean, there, there were stories of spotting in the early days, but uh, I rarely have seen a Libertad spot. So uh, I think it's a coin that you can vacuum seal, put away, come back in five or ten years and sell in the aftermarket for a nice profit, which is what I did between 2014 and 2017, easily doubling my money within a few years. Um, so they are hot. People like them. Right now the market is dead with uh, spot prices dropping, so there'll be limited interest because... Um, you know, when spot prices are dropping, people wait for lower prices. Will there be lower prices? Well, you know, you can guess as to that. Um, the market is uh, certainly under distress, and the spot market in silver and gold is uh, really, really dropping lower. So uh, we're going into a lull here, uh, commensurate, I think, with the recession, and uh, that could put uh, a ceiling on prices for some time. But when they run out, and they always do, because these are Libertads, uh, these are not maples made in the tens of millions, these are not uh, silver eagles made in the tens of millions, these are not Britannias made in the tens of millions, pandas, Philharmonics, uh, these are very low mintage coins. And if you have one, you will likely be one of a few number of people that that uh, hold and collect uh, these. So there you go. And if you want to try to figure out if uh, Mexico is minting more or less of these, you might look to the Mexico economy. You might look to the price of silver. There's a point where one of the sil largest silver producers in the world stops selling its silver and may restrict uh, um, mintages and sales of their silver waiting for higher prices. Wasn't that long ago silver was at $29, $30 and here we are pushing 20 So um, has the mint, has, has the Mexico mint decided to hold back a little bit? If they did, that would be good for us. Um, if they didn't, uh, then, uh, you know, well, not as much. But I don't think you'll lose money on these coins ever. All right, that's all I have for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd like to hear what you're buying. Are you taking, are you taking a chance on the proofs? Uh, they spot, okay? I don't know why the proofs are different, but the proofs can spot over time. I don't mess with them anymore. They're quite pricey. Um, but uh, if that's your pleasure, then uh, let me know if you're buying those. Um, if you're buying the BU, are you buying the whole set? I mean, you can pay 20 bucks for a one-tenth. Um, you, you know, or crazy prices on the fractional. Again, because the mintages are lower, as you saw, if you'd like to pause those charts. Um, or are you going for the big boys? Um, I would always go up. Uh, not down because you're getting more silver and if the price if the collector value doesn't uh, hit big you've always got the silver an ounce but what are you doing a lot of people put together a full set of the BUs uh, from the one tenth up to the five and mainly maybe even the kilo the kilo is pretty expensive from what I saw uh, pushing was it 40 bucks an ounce um, so I'm not going to touch the kilo but again, the mintages can be quite low for some of those bigger coins, and you may have a collection of kilos. So I uh, hope you'll leave your thoughts below. Are you still buying Libertads? Hopefully you're not buying in the aftermarket. This is when you buy them, when they first come out, not in the aftermarket at escalated prices. That's when you sell, not when you buy. But that's just how I do it. You may take a, a more collector viewpoint on this. And trying to put together a full set of 1998 forward of the new design um, is pretty hard to do. As you see, surprisingly, that first year selling for $800?
Wow, but there weren't many of them made. So if you ever get your hands on one of those 1998s, hold on to it tight. Also take note of the low mintage years and the high, high, high sales price uh, Libertads. Uh, sometimes you can get them at the LCS. And if they're not aware of the mintages, you might be able to snag one of the good ones. All right, so I hope you guys have a great weekend, and hopefully you have some powder dry to do some shopping this weekend. Uh, premiums are so low. They are getting so low. Spot price is so low, pushing $22, and maybe down to $20, and then with a U-turn back up to $30. But, uh, you know, it looks like we're going to see a bit of a washout here, uh, especially if the 10-year keeps going up. But, um, you know, I saw a recent poll by one of, uh, one of the good uh, YouTubers that said that more than 50% of you stackers are broke and uh, can't take advantage of the drop in prices and the drop in spot. And uh, unfortunately, yeah, that's me too, because I just spent my reserve money on these libs. I just couldn't pass it up. I wish I had waited. It would have been $1.50 cheaper if I had waited. But, uh, you know, you never know how long the libs are going to last. And then the prices start to go up. So, um, well, I jumped too soon. And I spent the last of my money. So uh, we'll have to see what happens in the market. Uh, I'm along with 50% uh, of you that are out of, out of funds right now for the big dip. And hopefully you're not. Hold that cash tight. Cash is king for a little bit here. There are going to be some bargains. Um, all right, I'll see you guys next week. Take care.